Smith, we love you. And we love, love you that too. you made time to come see us because she has been very busy cottaging with friends because she constantly gets asked back. You I are think the about best guest. 300 times I've been invited back because everyone can get invited once. Yeah. The trick is to get. So I'm going to share my tips. And you've shared your pictures. Can we show some? Oh, I've got lots of pictures. And you're, if you're, you're going to there my. Today. I know. I'm going there. I'm taking this food. Nobody eat it. Every week. This is going to the cottage. You guys don't get this any is, of Marilyn's no, food today. No. No. Nothing for the crew. Uh, but but the thing is, is that, you know what? You're not going to a B&B. They're not your mom and dad. You're supposed to bring stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote an article, read it on uh, MarilynSmith.com, all a bunch of tips and tons of recipes. You're but right. the first thing I think a lot of people don't think about is that you've got to bring your own towels and bedding. Or at thought. least ask, unless you're going to some highfalutin cottage that, you know, they have maid service, but I don't know anybody like that. Because why should they have to wash your towels and exactly. sheets? Exactly. And they have septic they tanks. They have septic tanks. They have a limited, they don't, they don't want to be your mom, okay? So no. bring your own bedding and always bring a gift. I like to do uh, gift cards. I've got one from Winners. I've got uh, one from LCBO or chocolates. Nice. Nice. There's a nice thing. And then it's all, it's a lot about eating and drinking at a cottage, unfortunately, it unfortunately. Is. It is. Uh, and so I always bring a lot of stuff to drink, okay? So this is uh, like my new favorite sparkling uh, white BQA. Uh, and then there's another white wine. We bring a ton of different kinds of beer. And then I also bring You always non. say bring enough for everyone to drink. Don't just bring enough for you to drink. Exactly. It's not B-O-B, your own B. B-Y-O-B is bring enough for everybody. B-E-F, whatever. I don't know. Okay. I wrote it. Read the article. <laughs> And then obviously you, you want to bring non-alcoholic beverages too. So, uh, you know, lemonade, quintessential yeah. summer mm, drink. First and, quench. Oh, big time. And then my favorite new thing to drink right now is this pure leaf unsweetened tea. You know, I'm a tea Yum. snob. And they have a tea master and he actually made real tea. It's real tea. And so. Where do you get this one? You there? can get it all over the place. It's in all the grocery stores, fast food. Pure so this leaf. is my new favorite thing to drink. And, and coincidentally on the website, there's a couple of cocktails using all that stuff too. Okay, so, so a little there. lemon wedge, a little mint. Yeah, yeah, Delicious. a little gin. A Hello. Oh, <laughs> whatever. You're so inclined. I'm so inclined. Anyway, um, and then you want to offer to bring a meal. Don't just say I'm going to bring cookies. I mean, unless you're going to make 500 dozen so cookies. So every single weekend, like you're packing yeah. all this to take tonight. You take care of dinner on the Friday night. I usually do. My girlfriend calls it free. She wants to call it free for all Friday, <laughs> which just means I bring everything and she sets the table. Anyway, I don't why know. not? Why not? I mean, honestly. So um, I'm going to make a marinade, and I would marinate this. I'm going to marinate this morning, obviously, what and is take this it meat? up. This is sirloin. Um, um, and you know, marinating is not just about flavor and, and tenderizing, it's about reducing carcinogens. Yeah. And so my big marinade right now is I'm going to use, so you can use beer, wine, or unsweetened tea, so I'm going to use the, the, the unsweetened fruit leaf again. And then rosemary is huge for um, so anti-carcinogen, and so is garlic. So can you explain that, Mary? So this acts as a barrier between the meat and the grill, so you get fewer Carcinogens. carcinogens. Yeah, but it, it's actually a chemical reaction that takes place so that you're reducing the amount of carbon that's being formed uh, when you have a marinade that you're using those kinds of ingredients in. It doesn't work with everything. If you just put ketchup all over it, that's not work. an anti carcinogen. What else was in there? So Dijon? that was Dijon, grainy Dijon, and a little bit of canola oil or extra virgin. So you're and saying then these ingredients the specifically? Oh, I touched it with my hands. Ah! A bag and everything. Safety first. Food safety. Don't don't use this cloth. Okay. We'll just throw it over there so no one uses it. Okay. And then you're gonna seal this really well and then put it in your refrigerator or your cooler bag with cold sources. Don't be going up there without cold yeah, sources. Yeah. What so, happens when you, you get know. stuck in traffic and that two-hour commute is four or five? Oh, that those cold packs last 12. Okay. So you're you're gonna be good. You're good. Okay. The next thing I like to make is uh, a salad and I'm gonna do a potato salad this time. Uh, and I and I, I think people are afraid of using potatoes, but Potatoes are actually have something called resistant starch. When they're cooked and cold, they are actually good for your GI. They give you food for your good bacteria. Cooked and cold. Cooked and cold not potatoes. Hot. Not, not hot. No, they don't have resistant starch when they're hot. The molecule. Oh, here's a science lesson. She's so smart. Bill Knight. No, Marilyn, the science girl. Anyway, uh, when the molecules realign when they're cold, they become a resistant starch, which means you don't digest them as well. Okay. And so they're really good for your GI. So the, so, the cold potato salad cold is good potato for salad. you. So I would make this at home the night before. Cold potatoes, I've got olives, I've got boiled. feta. No, they, I don't have any oil on yet. No, boiled. Uh, boiled. boiled. Oh, yeah. Oiled. Just <laughs> oiled potatoes. Red onion. Okay. Oh, my God. I we're snorting again. Uh, you, you, you should whisk the salad dressing together, but I'm not going to because I'm a trained what professional. Um, I used uh, cold pressed canola, or you can use extra virgin olive, whatever you want. And then toss that and then add. You want to put the potatoes in? Yes, ma'am. This bowl's all a little bit teeny, but yeah, just, just dump them all in. Yeah, that's good enough. And then when you get up 
to the cottage, you also have with you some um, some pancetta that you've already Look fried at up. You. And then you put the basil, ta-da. And this is my dessert, it's what on there as well. Angel food cake, uh, lemon yogurt, and pureed local strawberries. Boom, bada boom, Mikhail, this is dinner. This is why <laughs> Marilyn Smith is the best guest for your cottage. If you'd like her to stay at your cottage, call <laughs> 1 800 <laughs> Marilyn Smith. <laughs> Can you imagine? They would want you just for the food. And now you can go. Yeah, right. This okay. is beautiful. No Fine. wonder you keep getting asked back, and you happen to be an amazing friend. Oh, right good. now, over to Melanie Engel, though we're not allowed to eat this time. How amazing no, is she? Don't eat anything. <laughs>